An enormous nuclear submarine poses a real threat in the ocean. You could have no idea that it's floating beneath you, and yet it carries a thermonuclear weapon that could destroy an entire continent. Quiet and inconspicuous, it can lie on the seafloor for a whole year, waiting for the order to strike. You would think that such a deadly weapon would be banned, but recent events suggest otherwise. Not long ago, a Russian doomsday submarine was spotted in the Arctic. It surfaced in the middle of the ice, stayed in that position for several hours, then dived back down. What's interesting is that Putin himself hasn't been seen on TV for quite a while now, and what better place for him to hide than in an eternally frozen wasteland armed with nuclear missiles? Russia's top nuclear-powered submarine has gone missing. I think you get the idea, but what is this doomsday vehicle anyway? The K-329 Belgorod nuclear submarine was originally part of the Ante project. It was supposed to be fairly standard in its construction. Its closest counterpart was a submarine called the Kursk, which sank in the Barents Sea in the year 2000. I don't know whether it was the Kursk disaster or some other factor that had an effect on the engineers, but the Belgorod was heavily modified. An additional 100-foot compartment was cut into its central section where the missiles had previously been located. The nuclear-powered submarine's overall length is over 590 feet, a new record. To give you a better idea of its size, take a nine-story building, set it on its side, and do that six times in a row, end to end. That's how huge this thing is. So it would be really important if that uh, Belgorod is not operational until 2027. As a result, the 600-foot Belgorod is the longest submarine in the world, 32 feet longer than the U.S.'s Ohio class, which are currently considered the most powerful subs on Earth. However, would the Kursk be able to compete with them? It's actually quite likely, because the Russian ship wasn't made longer to set a record, but to accommodate the world's first nuclear-armed stealth torpedoes, as well as equipment for intelligence gathering. In addition, the thermonuclear torpedoes aren't just inside the submarine, they also float freely on the bottom of the seas and oceans, waiting for a command. Underneath the submarine is a special compartment through which repair drones can be launched to service these torpedoes. Strategic nuclear submarines could lurk out of sight at the bottom of the ocean for weeks, even months at a time. They could come to within a few miles of America's Atlantic or Pacific coasts, some experts insist that these Poseidon torpedoes are capable of traveling hundreds of miles underwater and causing nuclear tsunamis, 